Okay guys, we're back. So one thing that we're going to do that's kind of important is we are going to add some more highlights. But, well first, you see, these are the highlights that we just added in the last video. So now we're going to merge those, but I want to show you another spot. Let's make a new layer. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to show you guys a spot that needs a little bit of highlights which is right over here, because we want that reflective light that could be bouncing from anywhere. Well, I mean, it's coming from over here, but we need to show a little bit of that over here, just a little bit, not a lot. Oops. I tell you what, guys, I'm never going to just like set up and lie to you and act like I'm the you know, the best artist in the world, because I'm not, but, <laughs> um, you know, I mean, there's probably people on this, that are subscribed to this channel that can actually draw better than me, you know, so, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm literally, I'm just here sharing what I do, like, you know, this is just some, a function that happens in my life, and I just want to share it, so, I'm not out to try to prove that I'm the best artist or any of that, none, none of that stuff, I'm just, I'm just literally just trying to share it with everyone, because that's what I like to do, oh yeah, duh, <laughs> that's on a different layer, we'll fix that later then, okay, so, we're going to merge that last layer, and create a new layer, and, yeah, we're still going to be doing highlights, these highlights can take a little while to, uh, get done but now I want to try something real quick usually I don't do this until a little bit later but we might be able to pull it off now so get a new layer make sure we're still using white we're still using the airbrush tool so we're gonna be using the airbrush tool for a good while so let's see if we can bring a little bit more of that light onto the helmet just a little bit like that and then we'll drop drop it down just a little bit. There we go. We'll merge that. Okay, so now for some more fun stuff. So we're actually gonna start showing some of the reflection on his uh on his suit. So still airbrush tool, new layer, but only change it to red. Now for instance what we're gonna do is here on the darker areas we have the lighter red so we're gonna just start doing a little bit of that this is how you're gonna get that look to make it look like it's like you know all shiny and stuff now it may not look too much like it right now but we're gonna I'll show you what we're gonna do to fix that Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just drop the opacity. I dropped it to about maybe a little bit more. Forty-three percent. Okay, so we're gonna merge those two. Now we make a new layer. We go back and get white, and we drop it to sixty-eight for right about right now. And then, let's come up here on his shoulder and start adding in some more highlights. And then, the other thing too is right over what we what we just did, we're just going to add a few of those. Just on, right on top, just really quick though, really quick. a little 
plenty right now, but so we're going to drop that down to 28%. Okay, now make another another one. Another layer, I should say. <laughs> okay, we're going to come over here and split a few. Okay, I just put a few of those little dots. Kind of make it look like there's some light coming from, or there's some lights above him. And put another one over there. So before you know it, it's going to start to look more and more and more like there's actual light in the room that's on his helmet. And, um, okay, so now what we're going to do, now I want to jump in and touch on his eyes real quick. So, I know some people literally work on one part of the, the drawing at, like, at once, like they do like the, the head and then they move down, but um, I've always been the type of person to where I just jump around, like, okay, well let's do a little bit more on his head, and it's because I'm, the drawing, it changes as I'm working on it, so some things you need to, you know, need to make match with the way the drawing's going. Okay, so we put a little bit of that white in his eyes now. Let's merge that. Let's make a, oops, okay. Let's make a new layer. Now, what I want to show you guys is we're going to make those eyes glow a little bit stronger. So go and get some, some pretty much baby blue. Drop the opacity to about four, uh, fifty-four percent. And well, let's zoom in first before we adjust that. Let's zoom in probably about right. That looks good. Okay, now I'm just ever so lightly, we're just gonna make little touches just around his eyes. See, see that? So it looks like looks like the glow is coming back. Revenge of the glow. <laughs> uh, okay, so that looks pretty decent. I might want to drop it just a tad bit more from 54% to 47%. That's good. Okay, go ahead and merge that. By the way, for those, um, in case you have forgotten, if you're zoomed in like this and you don't want to have to, like, zoom all the way out, you can just tap and, uh, this button up over here, you just touch it, and you're good to go. Okay, so now, what I want to do is, uh, I want to, um, one second, I'm going to, I'm just going to make, some more highlights. Right over here. Make sure we have a new layer. See maybe where else we should add one. Let's put one right here. Yeah, that looks good. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe we'll add a small, very, very small. I don't know if this is going to be right, or if it will look good, but maybe we need to do that on a separate layer. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and make this. I dropped mine to 57%. And merge it. And... Da -da 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 what do we got? 10 minutes? Okay, so we still have a little bit, a little bit of time. Let's make a new layer. And I want to grab some black. Mind you, we're still using the airbrush tool. And uh, I want to put some more shadowing in over on this side. So right in here. Woof! Wow, we need to... <laughs> forgot to drop the opacity on that. Okay. So here we go. Let's just add some more... That looks good. And then, let's add a little bit more over here on this side. And then a little bit up over here as well. Now, <laughs> I need to zoom back in, look at that. Now, there is a little, get, grab your eraser if you just did what I did. There's a little bit too much over here, so let's try to cut that back down a little bit. There we go. So I think, I, I think it's fine pretty much like that. And we're going to take the layer and merge it together. And believe it or not, we're actually getting pretty close to finishing this. So we have black, we have our um, airbrush tool again, and now we have also we're on a new layer, and we're going to just make a slit right down the middle, just like that. Just like that. That's all we're going to do. Then, we come over here. My niece is so noisy. What if she found something exciting? Okay, so hopefully that showed up clear enough. Okay, so last finishing touches that we're gonna do. I don't think we're gonna really do a background here because I'm pretty much just trying to show how we actually get to this point. I'm not sure yet, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, to add some touch up though, we're just gonna add some little, you know what, I can actually, um, we're going to use this paintbrush right here, the one that's just highlighted, I've just highlighted it. We're actually going to use that one, go back to black, because see with this one you can actually just tap, you know, you can actually just tap, so we're actually going to do this to, for, just to look like maybe these would be where some screw holes go or something, and we'll just add, just add them, just on a few spots here and there, and over here, and then, don't ask me why, I want to put one right there, one right there, and one right there, <laughs> this is what I felt like doing, okay, so I need to put two over here, and there, and it should be pretty much good. Okay, we'll merge that together. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do anything else with this drawing. I really don't. Um, but that's just kind of a basic little idea of like how to kind of get to this level of drawing. Um, or at least how to use the air airbrush tool for this type of style. So, pretty much what we're going to do now is just... Uh, leave it and I'm going to throw a background in there maybe may, literally maybe just like color or something and then um, that's pretty much it for this drawing so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and if there's also something that you guys want me to draw or would like 
then um, just leave it in the comments and uh, maybe we'll turn that into a tutorial. Alright, so if you if you're watching this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.